That sound is a beautiful thing, ladies and gentlemen. It's active fermentation on a five gallon batch of a Blue Moon clone bought from uh, Southern Hills Brewing Supply in Roanoke, Virginia. It's in my fermentation chamber, which I've converted my boiler room into with a batch of cider. I call it wild cider, uh, which is made, my first batch of cider made with actual apple cider and dumped in four pounds of brown sugar on top of a yeast cake that was used for a black IPA probably about two months ago. So I'm just recycling yeast at this point. Uh, my first batch of cider has not been bad. We'll see what happens with that one in about a month. But this bad boy right here, uh, the Blue Moon clone, that was brewed about 24 hours ago. This thing's popping like crazy. It'll be doing so for the next 24 to 48 hours. It's about, um, it looks like it's overflowed. tube here for the airlock. Um, this batch, to give you a little bit more details here, it was brewed yesterday. Uh, like I said, it hasn't been 24 hours. I've dumped about 20 ounces of extra oats in here over what it called for and an extra pound of honey to give it an extra kick. Uh, so the yeast used here is an Omega Kvaic Oil 061. Um, that was a liquid yeast. That's the second or third liquid yeast I've used here. Uh, just to try them out and see what happens. This thing's going crazy here. So just so you can see, the thermostat up here, that thing's hovering probably around 76 to 78 degrees. So it is uh, nice and warm in here, inside next to my water heater. It should be able to maintain this temperature year round uh, within this space. It's a little bit cooler here now that things have cooled off the past couple days. but. People are concerned and posting uh, on some Reddit post I made that I should have some off flavors in the beer. My beer has tasted pretty good so far. I haven't had any major issues or complaints on, on the flavor. And I've been using straight up Kvaic yeast for all of my beers for the past couple months now. So I haven't had any issues. Uh, and like I said, as a follow up, the main reason I'm doing the ciders is just because I have big fat yeast cakes left afterwards. I didn't want to toss them. So I dumped the juice in there, the cider, the sugar, give it a good whirl. And off we go to the races again for another month. So cider to the right. Um, not much activity. It's off to a slow start, but it'll probably be a slow, quiet fermentation. Um, nothing is as violent as some of these Kvaic yeasts that I've been using lately. This one is no exception. Any questions, let me know. If not, stay tuned for next week.